Hello guys, welcome to OSX86 Devs. Today I want to share this video with you. It's just about the experience that I had with this HP Pavilion G7. Now remember guys that we're not going to be able to use our graphics card. As you can see this computer has an AMD A6 4400M Apple. First I installed Mavericks in this computer. I'm going to show it to you so you can see it. And the reason why I didn't keep uh, using Mavericks is because compared to Mountain Lion, it didn't perform as well. Bluetooth doesn't work. Um, graphics, as you can see, uh, the resolution that we have in here is uh, 1024 uh, by 768. Um, and so audio, we also do not have audio in here. Uh, so really uh, the experience is not is not good I mean you can see right now the computer is not connected to the Ethernet uh, so we have to use a LAN cable uh, because I couldn't really find a way a, an easy way at least uh, to get the Wi-Fi working but once we connect the LAN cable to the computer it will take a while to to get connected to the Ethernet so as you can see it's going to connect now it's connected there and so yeah you can go to the internet and you're gonna have internet connection but as you can see in the information about this system uh, it's it shows a processor as on 2.69 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo uh, 6 gigabytes of RAM and but the display is uh, 3 megabytes of video memory so really I mean there's nothing that we can do if you see when we open you know for example Safari it's going to be really slow and it's not really going to be so useful uh, now I wanted to share this video with you because maybe if you have this computer uh, you just wanted to install macOS on it just to see just to feel the experience also I tried to find some information about it online and I just couldn't find anything so if this is your case and you have this computer then it might be useful to you. Let's go uh, to the installation part of Mountain Lion. Uh, for that all we need is our USB installer. I'm going to leave in a link in the description to another guide which is how to create a high Sierra installer. But you can use the same guide and all you have to do is choose uh, the different Mountain Lion uh, DMG file. Uh, which is the one that you're going to restart to the USB to create the USB installer. Let's just uh, restart uh, with our USB. When our computer restarts, we're going to press the escape key and then uh, we're going to press the F9 key to go to the boot device options and we're going to boot from our USB. Uh, so now all we have to do um, is to boot from the option that says boot Mac OS from Mountain Lion AMD. Uh, we don't have to uh, choose any other options, we are not going to use any boot flags or anything at all, just just hit enter. This video is not just focused for the people that has an HP Pavilion G7, uh, but also for any other person uh, which has an AMD A6 uh, processor. And we are going to go to Disk Utility, and now we are going to select our hard drive we're going to go to erase and we're going to choose any name we want and we're going to uh, select mac os extended journal so i'm just going to click on erase and that's it we can just uh, close this utility now we go to continue uh, we click on agree we select our mountain lion hard drive and we're going to click on install uh, the process is going to take a while. Once it finishes, we're going to be able to uh, to continue uh, with the post installation. As you can see, it has finished now the installer. So we're just going to click on restart. But don't boot to your hard drive. We're going to boot from our USB and we're going to boot back to the installer, to the USB installer. Once our installer finishes booting, we're going to go to utilities and then we're going to go to terminal. When in terminal, we are going to type the following. I'm going to leave in the description this code that you have to write. So once uh, we write that code, we hit enter and it has to look like this. Now we're going to type sh then post that sh and then we're going to hit enter. 
Now it's asking for the name of our disk, the one we just formatted to install Mountain Lion on. I named mine ML, so I'm just going to type ML and I hit enter and it's going to start copying the files. It has finished now, so we can reboot. Remember, we have to boot back to our USB installer. So go to the USB options, and then we're going to select our partition of our hard drive of where we install Mountain Lion, and we hit enter. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to finish the installation now remember guys that we're not going to be able to use our graphics card now uh, we're going to select our location and click on continue then for set up your keyboard uh, we're going to hit my computer does not connect to the internet um, then you hit continue not now continue we click on agree you choose any name you want you create a memorable password I don't want it to require a password to log in, so I click continue. I'm just going to leave that in there. And I'm just going to start using... Okay, so as you can see, we have installed uh, Mountain Lion on our computer that has an AMD A6 processor. Well, I can tell you that the experience is not bad, uh, but obviously we didn't have graphics uh, support, so we didn't have graphics acceleration. But as you can see, it looks better than Mavericks and it performs better. As you can see, when we go to About This Mac, go to More Info, it shows a 2.71 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo, 6 GB of RAM, and for the graphics in the display, it shows 5 MB. In Mavericks, it only shows 3 MB, so it's 2 more MB, which doesn't really make much difference, but it does make a difference because it has a different resolution. In Mavericks, we only had 720 resolution, but in here we have a different resolution, as you can see in here. This video is mostly for people that want to have an experience on how to run the Apple operating system on their computers. Maybe that way if you really like it in the future you can get another computer that is compatible and you can just install the latest version of macOS in your computers. But as you can see it's really slow. Everything that, that needs graphics card is going to be really slow. Here we do have sound. Right now we don't have internet connection. We would have to install and a specific text in the description but if all you want is just to to see what the Mac operating system has uh, then you're going to be able to do that in here so that's it for today guys and I hope it was useful to you so if you are interested in, in AMD systems uh, our next video is going to be about building a Ryzen Touch computer from scratch uh, we're going to have all the different hardware we're going to review it and then we're going to do an unboxing video too and in the next video we're going to see how to install macOS High Sierra on that system so thanks for watching our videos and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep updated with our next videos also don't forget to leave your comments to help us do a better job and if you have any questions head to the osx86.net website and post your questions in there and we will help you the best way we can. So thanks and goodbye.